Hello, my name is Curtis Steele, and I am the application developer for the ProWall Commander Control System. In this video, we will go through powder calibration, which includes cement powder, color, and any other auxiliary powders that your application may use. If you have any questions after viewing the video, please call ProWall Support at 403-335-9500. For cement calibration, you're going to start at the home page and go to the main menu, pressing the menu button. You can select mixer calibration on the screen. At this point, you'll notice on the side we have uh, several options for different types of powders uh, in this case. So you have cement, color, auxiliary one, which is typically fly ash, and auxiliary two, and fiber in this case. What we're going to concentrate on in this video is the uh, cement calibration. So we select cement. Now the process is essentially the same for each one of these. So cement color, auxiliaries, and fiber. Essentially what we're doing is we're, we're sampling a weight. We're getting a number of counts off that particular metering auger and adding the counts to the display. So this video is essentially going to go through yeah, the cement calibration and how it works. So one thing to keep note here is it's important that the cement metering tube is full before we start, whether it's an older machine or certainly on a new machine, we want to make sure that the, the metering tube is full. So we have to hit this calibrate mode on. What that does is it ensures that just the, in this case, the cement metering auger will run. So nothing else will run, the belt won't run, just the cement metering auger. Then what you're going to do is you're going to hit button 14 to run off some powder. You'll notice that it's counting on the screen here. That means the cement auger is turning and generating counts. At this point, you've filled up the cement metering tube. Now the, the next step that you're going to do is you're going to ensure that that count is back to zero before you start your actual calibration. So to, to, to reset that to zero, you push reset count and it starts you back at zero. So at this point you've got an empty uh, bin that you've uh, zeroed on the scale and you're ready to uh, take a sample of powder. So you're also going to ensure that this speed is set something above zero, otherwise the cement auger won't turn. We typically set it for about 80%. The speed isn't that uh, critical because it is or it is linear throughout the speed range, but we typically just say set it at 80 and, and start at that point. Um, but if you set it at 50 or 60 or 70 or 100, the value that you get from your calibration should be very, very close to any of those different settings. So, so now we're going to start. Um, if this was a new machine, these values would all be zero. And what we're going to do is once we're, we're ready, we hit button 14 again, and we start generating a sample. In this case, from this example, we took 677 counts. So we'll just go to something close to that here, just to show you as, a, as an example. So we went a little higher, so 818. Now instead of, I have two ways to enter the counts into this counts box here for the first trial. We can hit that and we can delete the value and type in, I think it was 818. So that's one way to do it. Or instead of typing all that in, let's say we started at zero, we can hit trial one load and it will just take the value and load it right into there. So now we're going to, we can also uh, load the value into this box instead of actually having to type it in. So how we do that is we hit trial one load and it takes that value and loads it into that box. It just it, just a kind of a quick way to, to load the value. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the value that you uh, get from the scale, you're going to hit weight one in this case, and you would type in, well in this case it will be more than 40, let's say it's 55. And that would be your first trial. Then what you're going to do, if you want, we allow you to do up to three trials, so you can have an average of three different values. Um, so what you can do is uh, reset your count, make sure that your count's back to zero, and start another, hit another uh, calibration trial. 
Again, we're going to get to, in this case, 630 counts or so, and the process is exactly the same. So once you get to that, you can take that and you can hit trial to load, and it'll just take the 680 and load it into here. So let's say we've entered all three of the values in and we want to uh, see what our average of our cement calibration values are. You can hit this calculate button and it takes the average of those three values and puts it into the cement box here. Another thing to note here with this uh, is you can actually change this name. So if you didn't want to call it cement one, you can delete this and say type in uh, Portland type um, four. Done. And then press save. So you can change the names of your cement powders so it's uh, closer to what uh, what you actually use. So that's the cement calibration. Again, it's fairly simple. You're just uh, doing up to three trials, putting in your weights, your counts, pressing calculate to get your average, and then save. One other thing to note here, all of these powders have the ability to do up to five different types. So we're still on cement, but you can actually hit this button here, rotate the knob. There's cement too, so you could do a calibration for a different type of cement up to five. And again, any one of these names can be changed as well. So go back to one is the one that we just did. So you have, you have the ability to select up to five different powders for each type. So color, cement, auxiliary one, or fly ash. And, uh, and that'll all get stored on the screen. Thanks for watching this video and please contact Parole Support if you have any further questions.